What's up, YouTube? And what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon news video. Over the last couple of days, we've had Coral Coral leak and an official trailer, and we're gonna talk about all those things today. Now, yes, I am late to the party per usual. I'm always late on these, but um, apparently, like I've, I've found some, some some tricks about how we can do this. Um, so we should be able to get these up a little quicker in the future. Um, but as we go through this stuff, as always, uh, if you disagree or if you have some different thoughts with some of the things that I say in here, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Um, this, this game is going to be great. Like, there's so much in these games. I cannot wait for them to come out next month. And, of course, we'll be doing an awesome LP of them. So, apparently, if we play this video uh, in slow-mo... Nintendo won't be upset by that so we're gonna try it and see how it goes so I have already seen these videos like I said I didn't know that we could do it this way um, so I'm giving it a try now but I've only watched it once so I'm gonna just kind of talk through my thoughts as it goes through this very slow-mo so th this focuses a lot on Necrozma's two new forms which is very strange that it's Necrozma's new forms why, how come it's not Solgaleo's new form? Because when you look at that, like obviously you see Necrozma there, but Dusk Main Necrozma, who is Psychic Steel with Prism Armor, obviously that's a Solgaleo, right? Right? Same thing with Dawn Wings Necrozma, um, Psychic Ghost with Prism Armor yet again. Um, well, I don't get why those are Necrozma forms. I feel like they should be Solgaleo Lunala forms. Um, but they have, Necrozma has a new move, Photon Geyser. Um, maybe it's that Necrozma is just taking over these legendaries. So that may, I guess that makes sense why. But, like, their typing doesn't change. Like, nothing changes. Uh, I don't, I don't get it, but, um, so we're seeing this new exclusive move, uh, by both of them. And it looks really cool, you know. Happy Necrozma gets a gets a move to himself. That looked like Probat was hurting before he got hit. I don't know. That was that was weird. Am I the only one that noticed that? And then of course we got the new Z moves um, that we're going to be talking about. The the Sun and Moon Z moves. Why he looks so happy? I need to see his face. I need to see our character's face change during this game <laughs> uh, but these animations take a while to get through like even when it's normal speed these animations take some time to get going um, so like you know whenever this Z move gets used like in competitive battling and stuff like you're gonna have the chance to go to the restroom uh, you'll have a chance to do your laundry maybe eat some food maybe go get the tires on your car changed like you got all kinds of time, but um, they suck them up into the wormhole, and then Liger Zero Necrozma heads out. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna call this thing, Liger Zero Necrozma, uh, with his little hands hanging out his back. I don't know. It is, it's gonna be really interesting to see how the story spins these new these new forms. If they can spin it effectively so that it, it's actually like Necrozma's form, I mean that'd be pretty cool. Um, but the animation on these is actually absolutely amazing. Just because I say it takes a long time doesn't mean I don't think it's amazing. Uh, the Liger Zero Necrozma charges down. Also, I didn't even say the name of it. It's like Searing Sunblaze something something. <clears throat> but he goes into Tumble. And then crashes into the opponent. And apparently he slashes a bunch. Is Slash in the name of it? I don't even remember the name of it. But yeah, spoilers, it's going to kill this thing. Um, and we're going to read about these moves in a minute. I don't exactly remember what type of move that is. I would imagine it's a steel type. Um, I do not remember though. And it doesn't show if it was super effective or anything. So it, it doesn't really give it away there. But it talks about it on the website. And then we can see Lunala do the exact same thing. Kind of focusing in on that Necrozma little triangle that they got. 
That's really cool. But we have menacing moon rays ma maelstrom. Uh, but I like how like the the crystal like turns because that's like the whole thing. Like if you look at these Z rings, like you don't turn them to activate it, I guess. But with the new Z rings, like you actually turn it. Like it turns it turns 90 degrees um, for you to use it. Yes, I'm talking about you. All right, thank you. Shh. Okay, thank you. Be quiet, please. Okay, thank you. Be quiet, please. All right, cool. It's just the same type of thing um, where Necrozma puts him through the wormhole. And this Mimikyu still has its disguise up. Um, so my understanding is that these two new moves um, that the Z moves go with will also go through like Mimikyu's disguise. I think that looks super cool. I love how he spins out and pops himself open. Um, I think that's really cool. In fact, I might do Ultra Moon for our playthrough. So I played Ultra, or I played Sun when I played through the original game. We might do Ultra Moon for our playthrough on YouTube. We'll see, we'll see. I haven't fully decided how I'm gonna do that, but. <clears throat> Absolutely destroys that Mimik Mimikyu. As soon as one of those rays hit and all the rays converge together, Oh my gosh, just obliterating this Mimikyu right through its disguise. Doesn't matter. Does it, does it kill though? I'm sure it kills. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely kills. Uh, and if I remember right, I believe that's a ghost type move. Again, we're going to read about them as soon as this is over. Um, but those new Z moves look absolutely amazing. Uh, then, of course, we talk about Rotom Dex. And I'm a fan of Rotom Dex. I like Rotom Dex. <laughs> But some of these things that he's doing are questionable. So, uh, in the first like playthrough of Sun and Moon, I think everybody really likes Rotom. And the reason I still like Rotom is because the anime. I think an Rotom Dex in the anime is amazing. Um, but these new features kind of give hope that maybe they're going to try and fix some of the stuff that is very, very stupid in Sun and Moon. <clears throat> but we have Roto Lotto. Where you roll and like get items but my question is like are you getting a no like is this a single whatever it is hold on let me see what it says this 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 low okay so roto encounter is that like you have to like you roll once and that's what you get is everyone gonna get the same thing at the same point in the game or is it going to be random? I mean, hold on, I'm going to pause this real quick. Is this going to be random? So, like, one time you might get Roto prize money. Do you need to get another Roto prize money to use it again? Also, I just realized that that's cutting off the top. Whatever, we'll deal with that. Uh, <laughs> but, it, like, it's just kind of strange, right? Uh, I just wonder how this is going to work. Is it going to be, like, after each... Um, Z after each trial you get, you get to roll the Roto Lotto? And is everyone going to get the same thing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't have answers. Because it says use this item. How long does the item last? Is it just a one-time use for X amount of time? <clears throat> I don't know. But it's basically O powers from X and Y, which is really cool. Um, especially like for post-game, like, like it was showing hatching and stuff like that. This is the questionable one. So Rotom has a Z-Power. Everybody gets a Z-Power. If you're in Alola, you probably have a Z-Power. So Rotom pops up. I'm assuming that they just use the Z-Move. I'm assuming it's like right after you use the Z-Move. Um, Rotom pops up. And through his support, you can use a Z-Power again. So like you can use whatever it's called. Klangoris. What's that called? I want to figure uh, Clangoris oh, Moon, no, Clangoris, Clangoris, Clangoris Soul Blaze. So Clangoris Soul Blaze, and then you can just use Clangoris Soul Blaze again. That's broken. Let's move over here, and let's see if I can make this look a little better for the video. Wait, whoa, whoa. Hey, zoom a little more. All right, so let's read through this real quick. New Z moves, we just saw these. 
Uh, and Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra's new exclusive Z moves make their debut: Searing Sunray Smash and Menacing Moonray's Maelstrom. One other Pokemon that can learn Sun Steel Strike and Moon Geist Beam, the moves needed to unleash these extremely powerful Z moves, the Krasma. So. That kind of answers the, the Mimic You question that we have. It's not different moves. It's still these same two moves that have always gone through Mimic You's disguise. Um, and I think all that is is it like it doesn't pay attention to abilities. I think that's what it is. So Necrozma's that know a Necrozma that knows Sunsteel Strike and Moonguys Beam will be able to unleash these Z moves. It seems there's an even greater power still lurking within Necrozma as well, just how much power lies within it. So I would imagine that's its own um, well, I'm sure that, like, Necrozma has a, a, a signature move, right? Necrozma signature. So, Necrozma signature move is pr uh, Prismatic Laser, right? So, I'm sure that Prismatic Laser has a Z move that goes with it, and we're going to find that as well. Let's read about this. Searing Sunray's Smash Z move uh, is a steel type Z move that can be used if you have a Solgaleo with the Z crystal Solganium Z. Attack damages the target while ignoring any effects on the target's ability. Well, there it is. And then here it talks about Menacing Moonray's Maelstrom, a ghost type Z move with the Lunalium Z. Damages, damages the target while ignoring any effects of the target's ability. Alright, and then we have some Rotom Dex stuff. So the Rotom Dex is a special item, it's a Pokedex, a tool that records information about the Pokemon that you find and catch during your adventures, but with the Rotom inside. Rotom is a Pokemon that's able to enter various- oh, okay, yeah, we know that. In your adventures in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, you'll grow closer to Rotom the more you communicate with it. Okay, okay, I see, I see. So the more you talk to it, the more you'll do. Um, it will come to help you even more in your journey. Rotom's personality will ch- Wait a minute, so is this like O powers where if you used a certain O power enough, like it would, um, it would open up and give you like level 2, level 3. So the more you say use the hatching one, you're going towards the next one. It doesn't make any sense. Maybe the more you use it, the more you're towards a roll. And how big, like, is someone not going to get the experience roll, or the experience um, power until late in the game? Keeping your bonds with Rotom as you travel around the world of Alola, it will make your adventure more lively and support you on the way. Maybe this will tell me right here. Rotoloto is a feature that lets you get items from your Poke Rotom decks as you get closer to Rotom. The special items that you get from your Rotom decks Rotolotto also come in different varieties, with some increasing experience points or prize money that you receive for a set period of time, while others might make it easier for you to catch Pokemon or have other effects. You may choose to use these Rotom powers from your bag whenever you'd like. So that doesn't really tell us if it's a single item or what. Now this is the questionable stuff and I believe the last thing that we have. If you come close enough with Rotom it will use a special power for you called Rotom's Z power. That should use a second Z move in battle even though you're normally limited to use only one Z move per battle. That's silly. So in competitive Pokemon if you use a Z move and your opponent doesn't fully read you by using protect on a Pokemon that can handle it, it's pretty much dead. One Z move equals one death. So we just have to hope that this this is kind of like the refresh feature in Sun and Moon, where like the Pokemon would randomly hold on because it didn't want you to be sad or something like that. We've got to hope it's in game only because man, if this for some silly reason makes its way to competitive or person-to-person -person battle, it's going to completely ruin the game. Because um, it's pretty much every poke every team will have two Z moves, and that's two dead Pokemon for the other team. And also, with all of the animations, that's way too much time. Imagine using um, Eevee's Z move and Solgaleo's Z move in the same battle. That battle would be minimum 45 minutes. And I'm, that's just two on two. No. Um, but I, again, like I said, I'm very, very excited for these games. We'll just we'll center it right there. I'm very excited for these games. And I cannot wait for them to come out. Um, I, I'm, I, I need to start kind of planning. Well, again, I'm behind, this, I'm behind on this. I've been working so much that 
Uh, I haven't had the chance to really do much, but uh, I have some cool ideas. Uh, our, our playthrough is going to be awesome, as they always are. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Do subscribe if you're new so you can make sure to catch our Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon playthrough once the game's released next month. And we'll see you in the next, uh, the next news update video. Until then, have a blessed day.